Our project today is kind of interesting. I'll start it off with describing this nine de degree of freedom IMU unit. This is an inertial measurement unit. It contains three sensors. One is a three-dimensional accelerometer, a three-dimensional gyroscope, and three-dimensional magnetometer. Each one of those sensors will take measurements in three axes um, and translate them along two lines here. I've got four. Two of them are for um, power and ground. The other two are signal lines and feed into a microcontroller. Those uh, sensor data goes into this microcontroller, which was uh, designed by a young man in Italy named Fabio Verasano. He did this as an experiment while he was studying his mechanical engineering. Uh, he passed away at the beginning of this year at 28, but uh, he left us with this board. My sons and I got the design files and built the board. It's been programmed uh, with uh, a program that was initiated by Dennis Fry in Norway um, for a head tracking unit. I've adjusted it, edited it to add direct wired servos, and that's what we're uh, showing off today. This uh, is a programming bub, USB attached. Uh, for this experiment, it has programmed the MCU, but now it'll only be used for power to power the MCU and the, um, the microcontroller and the IMU unit. Uh, this is a pan tilt that is simply three servos um, hot glued together for this experiment. It's getting power from a um, breadboard, which is powered from a wall wart and five volts. Two uh, signal lines, a orange and turquoise signal line go into the microcontroller, which um, the microcontroller takes sensor readings from the IMU, translates them into X and Y coordinates, and um, then moves the, the servos to the next designated uh, position. So let's power this up and show what our first stage does. The uh, microcontroller is booting up. The uh, Cameras locking in and getting in position. Okay, it seems to be stabilized. Now, as you see, I'm moving the IMU unit. Camera goes up and rotates as I move the board around. I am you through Arduino. It's a wired mess. This um, program by Dennis Fry that I'm using is originally um, set up to go through a remote control or a radio control unit for aircraft. And I'm uh, trying to do a little something else with it right now and so I've got it I reprogrammed it to work with direct wire and as we can see it works thanks for watching